Hey, what's up everybody? The Amazing Cam giving you my first unboxing video. I normally don't do these, but this is a special occasion. I have a first-hand look at the Stealth Ops Gomez brought to you by Mezco Toys. So thank those guys. And uh, it's funny because like I got to play with it outside of having its packaging, the figure itself, but I don't know everything it's come with. So as I go through this, you will actually go through it with me. We're going to take a look at the can and we're going to take a look at what's inside and then I'm going to actually review it. All be part of the video so let's take a look this is a really cool as hell tin can now if you any know if anybody knows that old school style of lunch boxes this is 100 percent where it's at i absolutely adore this thing brings back childhood memories really cool lunch boxes and not being able to afford one <laughs> and basically just carrying it around in a paper bag but you actually get a ton of cool things on it it has weight to it it looks absolutely phenomenal and it has original art from the Zero Issue comic, which is just as cool. And you can actually carry it around with you. It has a nice little handle too, and it's strong. Now on the front, we have a look at the Stealth Ops Gomez and what he would come to be and what he looks like. And if there's anything close to that, trust me, you will absolutely adore and love this. Next up, we have the Mesco exclusive sticker stuck on top of it. That's the good stuff. Then we have the bullet holes in it. I love the look of this. I love where we're going with Gomez and I'm gonna absolutely adore and eat every one of them. We have the special boom box. We have another bullet hole in our tin. We have the Mesco Toys logo. On the opposite side is more zero issue art. Kind of giving us, I guess, a look into the future, hopefully, a peek. We got more boom box art in the corner. We have more bullet holes in our art. We have the Ultraman reference. We have Lone Wolf and Cub references. So we, we got a lot going on here and I'm hoping that we get so much more of it. And then we have that infamous neck snap of Gomez against a pig brute, which is what I'm going to call him, pig brute. And I absolutely love this. I wish we had this facial expression for Gomez. So uh, if it's happening, let's get that. And then again, we have the, the reverse Mezco Toys logo. Now we're going to open this bad boy up. We're going to pull those latches down. And we're going to open it. Ooh, when, oh, this is beautiful. We actually I have to turn it sideways now because I didn't expect it to be like this. And then we're going to kind of take this packaging out. We're going to get him out of there, out of his plastic prison and tin prison in this case. Uh, I don't even know how to get this guy out because, oh, there it is. And uh, we're going to take a look at Gomez in a second. We're going to talk about this. And then we're going to slide out the weapon. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can't see this because it's not on camera, but there are a number of rows of things that's fantastic oh here it is so i have to actually back up because this is a, a lot of stuff this is this is a lot of stuff um so we have one two three four five different stacks of stuff and it's all folded up neatly in this tin that kind of give you this look into what you're getting with stuff op gomez so we have hands we have weapons we have even more weapons and even more weapons. And then as you can see, there's, there's clothing in here as well as a stand. So with that being said, I think we're gonna jump into the review part, kind of phase out of this. And I hope you guys enjoyed my first real unboxing that's tied into the review. So enjoy that, let's jump into the review guys. Hey, what's up everybody? Now that I've got everything unboxed and it's all cool and I've got a chance to play with it, we're gonna talk about just how crazy and cool the NYCC Stealth uh, Ops Gomez is gonna be. Um, it's crazy because I already love the versions of Gomez we have now and it only continues to get more outrageous. And this by far has to be my favorite. Um, the look, the feel, the, the amount of accessories and the sheer awesomeness of the package has set him as one of my favorite figures so far. And it's even made me consider doing a top 10 figures of the year just so I could put him in it. Um, and I never do anything like that. So it's really cool to sit down and really play with something that's this versatile, which is really cool. So let's get started. Uh, we all know that Gomez is really cool. So we have this nice, crazy stuff look. We have this nice vest that's going on with him. We have the whole tactical look. And I got to honestly say, uh, Gomez look freaking cool. It's just really cool. Here we have on the turnaround, just looking lovely. These antlers. It's just a carefree attitude of the Roach Man, and I love it. Um, so let's start with articulation first. Mez, oh, Mez. <laughs> Mez, if you're watching this, forgive me. Uh, up and down, Gomez's head can go. You can tilt left and right. He has crazy amount of expression and range. Arms can move freely because the uh, shirt that he's wearing actually does not hinder 
his mobility at all, which allows him to get really crazy poses that you would normally just, you know, you know that clothes usually hinder. He can rock out. He can just have fun. Gomez is definitely doing all of that. Gomez has bicep swivel as well. Arms are indeed double jointed, so you can get really expressive and get really boohooey. So if you really wanted to have Gomez like do really crazy stuff, now is your chance. You can easily do all of that, and it looks really good. Gomez's vest is going to hinder a little bit of that chest articulation we got going on. It doesn't stop him from going left or right, which isn't the issue. Is when you're going to tuck in for that ab crunch, because the ab crunch really is there. But this vest is going to protect all that range of movement. You're not going to get any of that, because even when you tuck it in, you're not going to be able to see it. As you can see, he's tucking forward. You just will not be able to see it. The belt stands really nice and holds up really well. His uh, lower articulation, we have something really cool going on. Legs can go forward. Legs go a little far back. Double jointed as well. And we have that thigh swivel. Now, also don't forget when you're moving this joint, you can actually move it from the top as well. So you can get that, that different set of range that you would normally get, which is pretty cool. You actually have a boot swivel as well. You can tilt left and right for that foot. So yeah, you can actually get Gomez in tons of cool poses already that you just, you know, <laughs> what can I say about this guy that is just not going to be really cool? So let's say you wanted to get him ready to do some roach foo. Voila. Now we got the roach foo stance. Let's say you wanted him to do a jump kick. No problem for the Gomez. Oh, by the way, magnets are on these boots. So if you're worried about the hoverboard, not going to be an issue. You can totally do it. So Gomez can ride a kick as well. Voila. It looks fabulous doing it as well. Gomez also does not have any type of quarrel with getting on one knee for stealth or anything like that. Just all around is going to be super cool. You can take the vest off. To take the vest off, you're going to come over to the side. You're going to just pluck it out and open. And we can see what's under is the little shirt with his nice Gomez body. You know, that muscular Gomez body, that small articulated body, which has been really dope and kind to us collectors. It's dope. Just all around dope. Now, let's put him back in some neutral stance, make him look cool for the people, and then we're going to talk about all of Gomez's crazy accessories, which I'm going to have a blast talking about. So let's stand you up right there. Let's actually get you a little bit closer. Voila, make him look good. First things first, let's go over the extra heads. We get a cool white head with some uh, black mouthpiece, kind of like on the stealth standard. We have the eyes looking really cool. They reflect light very well. There's also a little white piece behind them, which makes them look really good. I really like these. Antlers are movable too, as well. So that's not really an issue. Really cool. Then we have this head here, which is going to be uh, the Black Stealth uh, Other Roach head. So here is just a nice combination of black and grays. These do not uh, rotate side to side. Oh, well, sorry. They swivel, I should say. And you can actually turn these different ways. But they won't move forward or backwards, so just be careful with that. Try not to bend them too far. These are soft plastic, but do worry about warping them. If you do, top them in some hot water, get them warped back in the right place so you know where you're going, right? Next up, we're going to talk about his special boombox, which I already have his uh, special rifle in. So here we are. We're going to talk about this. We're going to lift up. And I always have trouble with this, and I don't know why, but we're going to shoot it up. There we go. Now that we have the cosmic boom box open, the sentient boom box, I should say. So now slide it up and here we are. I have it at configuration, I believe one, where I have the soft plastic in. So here we have his gun, I have it in this. You have the silencer, you have the extra scope, you have the extended barrel, the extra magazine and the stock pump here. So it's all really cool and it's packaged in there. And I just wanted to make it look cool as in there. And just in case you want to change it to a different configuration, you still have the pieces to do that for this one. I still have it wrapped in plastic, but it's not really an issue like that. So there we go with that. So let's put this back, make it look cool, have that in the background. Next up, we're going to talk about his zip katana. Here you can strap it around his shoulder, his arms, anything like that. Katana is all black this time. So voila, there we go with that. This actually is a nice look for black. You, I just really, really like the way that it looks. Works out really well. And you can actually stash it. And uh, and I'll talk about that in a second about what else you can add on to that. And I think you guys will really enjoy that in a second. Next up, we have 
tons and tons more weapons, so it's really difficult to know where they even go. Then we have this knife. Knife can be stored right here around his back. Looks really cool on the back side. Actually, let me just swap that around. Should be the bottom piece in. Whoop, there we go. Slides all the way in. You'll also notice the place for the sidearm. I'll talk about that right now. So he also has a sidearm, which is all black. The barrel slides back. The magazine is removable. And you do get an extra magazine. All you have to do is lift up the little holster piece. Slide that in. Voila. Slides right in. Also want to talk about that I added Goldmaz's watch already on him. So he could tell the time when he's, uh, you know, doing missions already. Wanted to make sure he can always tell the time no matter what dimension he's in. Let's get you standing back up and cool. Do, do, do. So next up, we have this assault rifle. Everything is going to be all black. Everything is going to be stealthied up. So then while this is all matte, this handle right here is a little bit more gloss. Kind of gives you that nice contrast to what you got going on. The stock, uh, the magazine is removable as well. And all the weapons that I've shown so far, all of them are compatible with the effects. And then you have the Cosmic Pea Shooter, which is also compatible with the effects. And crazy thing about Gomez, you actually get the large blast effect. You get the small blast effect. And you get the three-piece blast effect. So you actually get all three that they've done so far with this Gomez to make sure that you can actually handle any situation <laughs> make it look cool in photos on top of that you also get the grenades and these have a cool little face on it that's painted in black and white the stealth look on this is just really really cool i love the color contrast then you get c4 <laughs> and you get a detonator so he's come well prepared for any situation and i i'm adoring everything about this next up you get a bow and why not have a bow if you're not going to be able to have arrows right so you get a piercing arrow and a normal arrow. So let's say you want to do like one of those zip line arrows. Probably going to go with your, uh, the best bet, the piercing arrow, right? This is actually on a much better string like it was Arsenal. So actually when you're using it, it probably can shoot an arrow. So let's actually shoot one into the background and see what happens. I might lose it, might not. We'll see what happens. Eh, it didn't even go far, but that's probably me being a little lazy. So let me try it again. Try to extend my reach with my bow yep went further this time like where that went <laughs> and then you have a stock so if you want to put it on in your backpack you can actually have an extra array of those speaking of backpacks you have options here with gomez so inside i stored his backpack which you can store all the items that you got previously with street gomez and the asian edition that you got uh for the second stock backpack comes with all the things that we got in before backpack opens up to add things into it you can also add stuff on the side here. So what I talked about before previously with the sword, you can actually store right here as well, which is pretty dope. So you have to be careful when tucking it in. But if you tuck it in properly, you can get the sword down a little further onto the bag. Then even with all the stuff that you have, if you want to carry it over in a duffel bag, you totally can. So that way you're prepped for any and all missions. Next up, you get suction cups for when you want to climb buildings for those stealthy missions. These are really nice. I love the suction cups. I've always adored spy movies with things like this. This is always fun. Get your Mission Impossible on. Then you get this really cool thing, which is an actual grappling hook, which doesn't really seem like much until you get this string. And then you notice that you can actually get uh, a ton of ideas from this. Like I said, you can truly get your Mission Impossible on. So let's say you even want to do something cool like hook into a bad guy's face. You can fake shoot it to a bad guy's face. You can use the string for other stuff. This is going to give people so many options of cool things to do. I can't wait. Then we actually have a submachine gun here. Again, following the gloss on top of the matte design, giving you contrast. Magazine is removable and it is compatible with effect parts that you get for the bullet effect. Really dope. Ooh, let's take that out so it doesn't get stuck in there. Now we're gonna talk about the hands. Hands, 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 hands. So you get the closed fist that you see here. You get your open array hands for actions, right? You actually have your two pointing fingers. You have your singular pointing finger. You have your specialty, the middle finger. You always wanna give that to those who wanna flip off, right? 
Then you get uh, open hands. So you get the hand for carrying uh, the heavy weapons. So let's say when you have the large machine gun here, you can carry it just in hand, looking pretty sweet. All right? You can, oop, there we go. I wanna make sure you guys got it in focus. Then you have uh, closed hands for holding the zip sword or any other weapon that is sword-like, like a pipe or anything like that. You have the left trigger hand. You have a right trigger hand. Another left trigger hand for smaller weapons. Then you have the right hand for holding the zip sword. Now, I think I've covered about everything with the exception of, oh, grenade holding hand. There we go. Now, the surprise I'm going to carry and show over to you is that you get stuff really cool. Like with all Gomez's, you get the little mini poster as a target. On the other side is decals for dressing your board, which you can never go home without. The sentient board. The boom board. Boom, 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 boom. And this one is stealth. All black following that matte on gloss design. Which is absolute, absolute wonderful in the light. It gets reflecting light very well. And then you also get Gomez's patented scarf for when it gets cold outside. Always red, even on a stealth mission. That way you can cover the blood of the enemies. Now, the cool thing about this, like I said, steel magnets. Still holds very well. Don't have zero issues with this. This is really cool. This is really dope. And I'm really, really enjoying this, how this came out. For those of you who are a little questionable about the magnets, right? Peep game, right? I'm going to bring my light now. I'm going to do something really cool, right? This is Gomez hanging from my light. Just in case you want to see just how strong those magnets are, this is Gomez just hanging from a light. Dangling, actually, even. It's really cool, right? Just want to show you guys just how cool that is. I've always enjoyed things like that, and I, I love cool stuff like that. So now that we've gone over just about everything that I could with Gomez, one thing I want to do is cover Gomez size-wise up with a bunch of different other Mezcos and other lines. So let's get started. Pull Gomez a little bit further back. We're going to talk about how he looks with other Gomez. So here's Gomez with agent version of himself. You know, this is the Gomez we first got a glimpse with into the 112 line. Everyone fell in love with him. This is Gomez Street Edition, which is really cool. And I actually love him and prefer him with his uh, black jacket on, which is going to be really dope to see. Because actually we have now a black on black affair. And then we have the Ninja Assassin Shadow, oh, sorry, Shadow Assassin Gomez, which I have not had a chance to review, but I probably will soon. Now that you've seen that I have it. <laughs> And here is the four Gomez that we have so far, and it's looking like a good look. This one, we have pink eyes, and it's a little bit more shadowed on the head, adding that little bit of wash. We have the stealth black head. We have the normal head, which we just got. And this one is a little bit more brown, and the eyes are a bit more matte. So here we just have different things to go through, and we see that the, the Gomez team is really coming together really well. Uh, and I'm loving it. So let's move you guys out of the way. We're going to talk about Gomez with other lines and other Mezcos and things like that. Here he is next to Batman, right? Another Mezco. Here he is next to Joker, the Clown Prince of Crime, right? Voila, there we go. And then here he is next to, oh, uh, no, 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 can't use that. That's just me with a head on it. <laughs> Let's go with Superman. So you can see Gomez actually stacks up really well with other Mezcos. He doesn't look out of place with them at all. So he kind of can fit in any universe. And it's kind of the fun of him. So now we're going to mix and match him with some other lines. Here he is next to an Articulated Icons Ninja. Here he is next to a 1000 Toys Hellboy. Here he is next to a Mafex Venom with a Gatling gun <laughs> that I forgot to take off him. So we're just going to leave that there. Voila. I like how he looks with Hellboy. I think that really works the best here. All right. Let's move Hellboy over. Here he is next to a... NECA Predator, which, you know, it's Predator, so they're supposed to be much bigger. Here he is next to a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Here he is next to a DC uh, Essentials Brainiac. A Lightning Collection Green Ranger. I see Gomez a little bit taller than those guys. And last but not least, an SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Cougar. Which Gomez will probably be much taller than. Especially in those boots. So now we can see what we got going on. 
And we can clearly see that Gomez kind of fits average in with other Mezcos. And since he's an anthropomorphic roach, I think he works just fine no matter what scale he's in. He can kind of be whatever he wants. He blends in with just about everything. Just be, oh, wait, one more thing I'm forgetting. There's something I'm forgetting. Oh, no, I'm not forgetting it. I talked about it. One thing I do want to do is I want to pop this head off. I want to see what I look like on top of the stuff Gomez. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good look. My head is a little big, but you know what? I think it look really cool with it on. It's a good fit. Stealth missions for me, right? <laughs> In the meantime, guys, I got to say, this Gomez is something I, I definitely want to get more of. It is a great look. It is a great fit. And probably one of the best done Mezcos that I've seen is just outright outstanding. Not just for the accessories, but just the motif and something that they were aiming for. I feel like they really nailed it here. So it's something that I'm going to enjoy. If you guys don't, I totally would blame you for this one because this is just an all-around fun figure. In the meantime, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it informative. And most of all, hope you do good, be good. Drink your water, guys. Later. <laughs>